Hey everybody, Ash here with 10 Cents. Today I'm going to be going over two fragrances from the House of Our Moth that are both inspired by or clones of however you want to put it. This fragrance, Dior Sauvage. I don't have to tell you guys that this is one of the most popular fragrances out. Huge compliment getter, people pleaser, very versatile. So the two Our Moth fragrances we're going to be taking a look at today you can get for right around $25 for a 100ml bottle. That makes them close to 25% the cost of Dior Sauvage. So I want to take a look at both of these Armagh fragrances, tell you the differences between them, and then you'll have a better idea of which one of these would be a better fit for you if you're looking for a cheap alternative to Dior Sauvage. So let's check these guys out. All right, guys, we're gonna really briefly check out the presentation on the bottles, uh, but not the boxes, so this should be pretty quick. First, we'll check out Ventana. Honestly, to me, it looks a bit cheap. You've got these plastic bars here on the front, name of the fragrance, has this kind of faux leather wrap that goes around. Uh, it doesn't really have much feel to it. It's just really hard and almost plasticky feeling. On the bottom, you have a sticker with your badge code information. Cap does click into place, so you can pick it up by that if you want to, but it feels kind of flimsy. Cap's pretty lightweight. Atomizer on this is so-so. Uh, it's like most Armoff atomizers. So that's Ventana. I think it's supposed to resemble a car a little bit or being inspired by a car. So here we have the Pride of Armoff. You can see there, name of the fragrance, name of the house on the top of the cap right here. On the bottom again, your sticker. Cap clicks into place on this one uh, really tightly. You have to kind of tug at it to get it off. And the cap is a, a bit heavier on this one. Atomizer again, pretty much the same as on Ventana. Overall, presentation-wise, I would say I prefer the Pride of Our Moth, uh, especially when you factor in the box. I'm not showing those here, but it's quite a bit nicer. So there's the presentation between Ventana and the Pride of Our Moth. Now I want to just touch on that price really quickly before we jump into everything. Dior Sauvage, if you buy this at retail, is $95 for a 100ml bottle. That's off of Dior's website or in stores. Uh, really, it's cheaper to buy at retail most of the time. Discounters like FragranceNet, when they put your products on, sometimes it's more expensive than just buying it at retail. And when I'm making this video, as of right now, Dior Sauvage is more expensive on FragranceNet than it is at Macy's, uh, Nordstrom, or Dior's website. The two fragrances we're taking a look at are this one, Armoff Ventana, and this one, Armoff, the pride of Armoff. Now, again, as of this video, Ventana is $29 on eBay, right around that amount. Or you can go to fragrancebuy.ca, that's a Canadian website. On there, it's $22.41, and that's for this size bottle, the only size they make, 100 mils. Pride of Armoff, again, 100 milliliter bottle. This one on eBay, right around $25. Same price on Fragrance Buy, $22.41. Now those prices may fluctuate a little bit up or down, but as of this video, those are the prices. Next, let's go over the note breakdown for these. I have them right here. It's a lot of notes to memorize, so I'm just gonna go ahead and read them off. For Sauvage, if you look it up online, it really only shows pepper and broxen and bergamot, so it doesn't have a, a real true full breakdown on yours website. Uh, if you go to Fragrantica or Base Notes, they differ a little bit. Uh, some of the things, though, stay the same between pretty much everything. So those notes are going to be bergamot, ambroxan, geranium, pepper, uh, which is both Sichuan pepper and black pepper, lavender, vetiver, patchouli. Ventana, the note breakdown. Top of bergamot, grapefruit, mandarin, lemon, and red fruit. Uh, heart of geranium, lavender, patchouli, and vetiver. Base, cedar, precious woods, labdanum, and amber. And then lastly, Pride of Armoff. This one has top notes of bergamot, lemon, lemon verbena, mid of cinnamon, nutmeg, and oak moss, base, sandalwood, vanilla, and tonka. So just really quickly looking at those notes, Ventana shares many more notes to Dior Sauvage than the Pride of Armoff does. Let's go ahead and jump into the fragrances themselves and talk about how they smell, similarities, and differences. Now, Pride of Armoff and Ventana both open similarly. They're not the exact same, but they're definitely in the same ballpark. Ventana comes across a little bit more synthetic, uh, a little more harsh, a little more sharp. Uh, it's more in your face. You pick up orange and grapefruit more in the opening of Ventana than you do bergamot, uh, but there is bergamot there. It also has that kind of ambroxany blast that Sauvage has where it's 
kind of in your face. And Broxen is not an official note in Ventana, but you definitely pick up what smells like Ambroxan. The pride of our moth is sweeter in the opening and much less harsh. A lot of that sharpness from Ventana or even Sauvage is rounded off. You don't really find that in the pride of our moth. You pick up the bergamot, the lemon, and the lemon verbena in the opening of the pride of our moth, and it also mixes really, really early on with a sandalwood and tonka from the base. So it gives us this kind of a sweet, smooth, even kind of a, a creamy citrus opening. In the opening, Ventana, definitely more in your face, uh, sharper, a little bit harsher than the Pride of Armoff. But between the two, if you were going to say one of these smells more like Sauvage than the other, I think Ventana smells more like Sauvage in the opening. Now the Pride of Armoff does smell similar. It's definitely in the same vein. It's got the same Sauvage DNA. Just takes, takes things in a, a little bit of a different direction than Ventana. If I were going to pick my favorite in terms of the opening between the two, I would say the Pride of Our Moth smells a little bit better. Ventana is closer to Sauvage in terms of just straight up uh, cloning accuracy, but Ventana is a good amount harsher than Sauvage is off the top. And that sharpness, that harshness, um, it makes it where it places below Pride of Our Moth in terms of just personal preference between the two, at least in the opening. In the mid, a lot of that opening harshness dies away from Ventana. So that sharpness doesn't last all that long, really. There's an amber note that starts to come in. It makes Ventana start to smell a little bit warmer off your skin. There's also a lavender and geranium combo there, which is something that it shares with Sauvage. That makes it smell very fresh and even a little bit brisk. It's almost like you took Sauvage, removed the pepper notes from Sauvage because those are fairly prominent in your Sauvage, uh, but they're not in Ventana at all. So it's like you take that note away uh, and maybe have you know a little lower quality of ingredients and then you've got Ventana in the mid. Honestly though, even though it has you know cheaper ingredients, it is 25% the price of your Sauvage. Most people out there in the mid will not be able to tell the difference between Dior Sauvage and Ventana. I mean, that's just the way it is. If you have them smell it side by side blind, probably won't be able to tell much of a difference at all. In the mid, the Pride of Armoff has none of that freshness or that Ambroxan kind of feel that Sauvage gives off. Pride of Armoff goes uh, in a different direction. Pride of Armoff is more of a, a sweet, slightly spicy and creamy fragrance. So the base of Pride of Armoff, that vanilla, Tonka and sandalwood that mixes with the mid, which gives that little touch of spice. It's a cinnamon and nutmeg combo, warms things up a little bit. Uh, it's really very, very smooth. And really the spice and the pride of our moth is more an accompaniment to the sweet and warm base notes and the little bit of citrus that lingers from the top. So really once you hit the mid, Ventana and the pride of our moth start to go much further apart. Ventana stays a lot closer to Dior Sauvage. Pride of Armoff uh, kind of takes that Sauvage DNA and does other things with it. Instead of having any of that sharpness or freshness, it goes another direction and just goes sweet and a little spicy. So again, we're talking in the mid here, Ventana closer to Sauvage. In the dry down, Ventana has a woodsy feel. There's cedar and vetiver with the remaining lavender and geranium from the mid. And again, really similar to Sauvage in the far dry down. Kind of splitting hairs. Uh, Ventana is a little bit fresher than Sauvage and again it doesn't have any of the pepper notes that are prominent in Sauvage and not as high quality smelling uh, but again that's splitting hairs it's really close and like I said earlier Ambroxan's not an official note but you can pick up Ambroxan whiffs from Ventana in the far dry down the pride of our moth does not smell as close to Sauvage as Ventana does if we're just talking straight up trying to get as close to Sauvage as possible Ventana is absolutely closer than the Pride of Armoff. And in that dry down, whereas Ventana is just trying to go straight Sauvage, Pride of Armoff just has little pieces of the DNA here and there. It's sweeter, it's creamier with a hint of spice, uh, but a lot of the things in Sauvage are missing from the Pride of Armoff, and a lot of things that are in the Pride of Armoff are not in Sauvage. Pride of Armoff does have a really nice smelling dry down. Uh, you've got that sandalwood, vanilla, and tonka. It mixes together really well with just a little bit of spice underneath. In their price range, both these Armoff fragrances are a really good deal. We're gonna say right in the $25 range on average for a 100 ml bottle, and you really can't go wrong with that. In terms of presentation, 
The Pride of Armoff, in my opinion, is much better than Ventana. Ventana looks a little bit cheesy, and the box for the Pride of Armoff is much nicer. Though I didn't present the boxes here, uh, the box is far superior for the Pride of Armoff. Presentation doesn't matter all that much to me, but for some of you out there, uh, that may be you know, something that tips the scale one way or the other. So which one is gonna be best for you is ultimately dependent on what you're after. If you're after just the absolute closest clone that you can get to Dior Sauvage for the money, it would be this one, Ventana. This is much closer to just being a straight up clone of Sauvage. Pride of Our Moth is basically something that takes the Sauvage DNA. In the opening, it's uh, pretty close. You're gonna definitely smell the Sauvage similarities in the opening, but as it dries down, it becomes its own fragrance. Kind of like a, a sophisticated, sweet, uh, warm, creamy take on Sauvage. It, it's almost like a flanker. You could look at it that way. It's like taking Sauvage, switching it up, and then uh, slapping a new name on it. Or at least if Dior had done this, that's what it would be. And these two are almost opposites in a way. Ventana, when it opens up, is where it's furthest away from Sauvage. You can obviously tell it's a Sauvage clone, but as it dries down, it gets closer and closer to smelling like the real thing. And the Pride of Our Moth is the opposite. When you first spray it on is when it smells the closest to Dior Sauvage. As it dries down, it takes a different route. And let's hit performance really quickly on these. Dior Sauvage performs better off my skin than either of the Armoths, and by a considerable amount. The Armoths aren't weak. Uh, I would categorize both of them as average. Dior Sauvage off my skin is a beast, projects really heavily the last eight plus hours. I get a lot of uh, longevity and projection from that one. The two are moths, uh, they last about six hours. Again, projection on those in the average range, once they hit the dry down, it, it's really just a soft scent cloud around you. Through the mid, they project pretty well. Uh, I would say if I were going to pick one of them to say that it projects better than the other and lasts a little bit longer, it would be Ventana. I do get a little bit better uh, performance from that one, but they're both uh, average. And versatility wise, both very versatile, just like Sauvage. You can wear them for just about anything, casual, date night, to the office, you know, just adjust your sprays up and down. Uh, you may not want to spray it on really heavy and go into the office, but you could still pull it off there. They're also potentially any season wear, just like Sauvage. Again, depending on where you live and how many sprays you do, that's something you're gonna have to fill out on your own. If it's really, really hot, you're probably not gonna wanna spray on, you know, eight to 10 sprays of Ventana, uh, but that's something that you'll just have to do through trial and error. You should know, depending on what the weather is, where you're going, the proximity of people, you know, how close they're going to be to you, uh, how many sprays you should do. Or at least, I would hope you have a good idea. So there we go. A breakdown for you guys between the Pride of Our Moth and Ventana. If you look on Fragrantica, you can tell that Ventana has gotten a, a lot more play than the Pride of Our Moth. I think only nine or 10 people have voted on the Pride of Our Moth on that website. So uh, I don't feel like all that many people really know about this one uh, or own it at this point. Both are very solid. If I were going to pick just one to keep for myself, it would be the Pride of Our Moth. Uh, that's simply because I like that sweet, warm kind of feeling that it has through the mid to the dry down and it takes Sauvage, does something different with it. Where I already own Sauvage, the Pride of Our Moth would be the one that I would keep if I were just going to pick one. But if I wanted one that was going to smell the closest to Sauvage because I didn't want to use my Sauvage or maybe I didn't own it or you know couldn't pony up the cash for it right now or something like that but I like the way it smells, then I would go with Ventana. Alright guys, if you have smelled these, let me know in the comments what you think about them. Let me know if you think they are decent quality, crap quality, if you like the way they smell, if you don't like the way they smell. As always, thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. I will see you guys again next time.